Welcome back, folks, to more Let's Play Swords and Saddles 5 Redux. In the last episode, we uh, went into the Hypogeum to try and find and kill three K well, three rats. We couldn't do it, but uh, we can probably get another one here. Anyway, also, now that we have ventured further than level one, you can also teleport to dungeon level four for just 196 gold. That's because we have a 1% charisma discount. Lovely. So the higher charisma, the... Less you'll have to pay to teleport to areas of the dungeon. Pretty nice. But we'll go back to level 1 here to see if we can find the last rat we need. It is still dark and we are getting hungry as well. So, hoping to get this quickly. That'd be very nice, in fact. It's a chicken. Murder the chicken! Sod you, chicken! Didn't give me anything. Well, that sucks for me, doesn't it? Oh, well. Need to eat soon. I know. Fine, we'll eat. Luckily, this barn egg, we can eat. And it gives us five hunger. Oh, it releases five hunger, so not too bad. The light source is about to run out as well. Lovely. Just stab this bloody bat right here. He's dead now. Just need to find one more rat. I'm hoping to do it before I uh, get exhausted, but that's probably not going to happen, which means I'm probably going to have to make camp. Under halls. Actually, this is probably a good place to make camp. You require flint and kindling to start a campfire. Oh, crap. Didn't think of that, did I? Nope. No, I did not. I am the dumb. Oh, there's a rat! Can we kill him in time? We killed him. Now, can we get out? No! Get away. Doesn't look like we can. Use the steps, quickly. Can we get out in time? Probably not. We collapsed from fatigue. Oh, well. That's a bit of a shame. That's because we didn't set up camp. Because we, could, because we couldn't set up camp. And I was robbed of 104... 64 gold. Well, bugger you! Fine, let's use a torch then. There you go. Back at the full. We are hungry again. This banana will suffice. 25 hunger. There's another rat here. God, if I take out this one instead. Oh, well. Right. Let's use the town portal stone. Get out of here. We've killed more than enough. God, I got mugged. Damn it. Some bastard mugged me. Right. Let's go back to the looters, shall we? Talk to Reg. Scotus Boslari is anxious to how you are coming along with those rats. All dead. In fact, here they are. Quest complete. You return to Reg with the... Heroic tales of your battles against rodent kind. He listens wordlessly, but you find no applause forthcoming. Still, at least you're rewarded as promised. We get some experience and 250 gold. Very nice. Alright, put them somewhere else. I don't need to see rat corpses parade in front of me like some conquering hero. Don't ask me to do such a trivial thing again. I have another quest for you, Mad Dog Mohawk. An ill wind has blown a stench through the Ludus. Many gladiators are falling sick and dying, and no regular cures seem to work. Stramantus the alchemist believes he can make a potion to cure them. Let me guess, the potion requires some obscure rare ingredients. They're not that obscure if you know where to look. I'm going to need you to go to the Hypogeum again and fetch these items. Reg hands you a list. Kill a few crit critters, they'll surely drop what you need. My brothers will not lie sick much longer. I'll find these ingredients. You so, we need glowing ectoplasm, two of them, two bat guano, aka bat shit, people that don't know what guano is, and uh, two chicken feathers. What the hell potion do you need ectoplasm and bat shit for? I don't know. Uh, an ill wind has blown a stench through the ludus. A fatal disease has infected many of the com your companions and Reg believes that Stramant Stramanus, Stramanus, the alchemist, can mix up a cure. Of course, Stramanus is cursed to never leave his shop. So you're going to have to get the ingredients for the potion. It's a medium difficulty. Most because it's just annoying to try and find it. But we have risen level four and that's all that matters there. Let's give ourselves I think we're doing alright so far, so let's give ourselves some vitality, just to, for more for more survivability. And let's go for Barbarian Storm. For more power! Well, not more power, but more chance to get more power. 
There you go. At least more often. Thank you. Right, I will go to the tavern. You have inspiring dreams of yoga. <laughs> well, nothing happened, but we dreamt of yoga for some reason. So, nice. Our armor is nothing. So, we may want to go to the armorer. Huntley. Armorer. Huntley. Armorer. Indeed. To fix our armor. Our armor has been repaired back to optimum quality once more. Very nice. So now we have armor again. And also, we can sell materials that we have found. Um, in your dungeon inventions, you have found seven materials and miscellaneous items you can sell for 87 gold. Your useful items, such as potions, lockpicks, and food, and so on, will not be sold. Let's sell that, then. For a little bit of, a little bit of extra money there. Right, let's go to the alchemist now. Stramanus. Alchemist. So, this is Stramanus here. He's, he's, he's got some stuff, like a scroll of town portal. Pretty useful. And some stuff that are really useful if I had the money for it. Uh, he's also got some torches. So, let's buy a couple of torches. Just in case we need it. And last but not least, let's go to the tavern and get an ale. Gattenhof. Tavern oh, Gattenhof. So with this, we can get a lot of other stuff here, as you can see, like lockpicks, shovels, flint and kindling, which is what we're going to need. Build a fire and don't freeze to death. I'll take that. So now we can now rest. I'm going to buy a second, actually, just in case. There are a lot of things here. Keys, bombs. Bomb might be useful as well. So we'll buy a bomb. We'll buy two bombs. And food. So roast chicken... Uh, restores a lot of our hunger, but we don't have the money for it. Barn egg restores a tiny amount, 5%, 10%. I think probably two pineapples. Should probably do. We're, we're looking pretty good now to go back into the Hypogeum. Uh, but for the moment, I'm actually going to go into the battle pits and do battle. Hail, warrior. There are two more gladiators waiting to fight against you. Defeat them all for a chance to take on an arena champion. You ready to fight a death match? Uh, yes, I am. Bring it on, whoever this loser is! Oh. Bring it on! He's got a higher battle score than me. I should lose this one against Michelle. Let's see how well we do. Ooh, magic. Okay. Yes, well, I have stabbing! Yeah, battle rage. Oh. Battle rage, sad. Yeah, right, I have battle rage now. So, all my attacks now deal damage. Which is very nice. And all my attacks are, well, that. That lasted long. But all my attacks can now, will definitely hit. 46 damage there. Oh, good hit. Good hit there, Michelle. Well, we'll get Battle Rage back. And now, we can you No, we can't, because we're not we're not close enough. Damn it! Attack! Ah, you missed. You didn't miss there. Oh, well. I am winning this battle so far. Right now! Now we can hit with Barbarian Storm! 62 damage there. 62 damage from the Barbarian Storm. She's dealing a fair amount of damage on her own, though, which is very interesting. Ooh. An attack for 31. And it's over. And I want gold. Goodbye. We get 485 gold for that. Pretty useful. Very nice. Let's fight our next opponent, and then we'll go back into the Hypogeum. Our next opponent is Grim Goys. Gowe, Gowes, Gowes. You're grim. You're a dog man. Stab in eye. We missed. I'm getting the battle rage at the moment. You can see he's a warrior, same as me, I think. So like he's, he's not using magic, so I'm guessing so. Oh, good hit there, sir. Good job. But there goes your armor. And now damage. Ten damage. Followed by a block. Ooh. Thirty-two. Battle rage. 100% hit chance! Hurrah! Let's see if we can kill him with this. We did! 42 damage! And we kill him! There you go, and his blood disappears. 408 gold. Very nice. And with that now, if we go to the battle pits... Congratulations, Mad Dog Mohawk. You've defeated all the challenges of your level. Soon your doctor will organize you a fight with the arena champion, Argus the Death Wielder. Argus? Argus. I'm going to say Argus. Aegis the Death Wielder in the Eternal Colosseum. Tell uh, Aegis the Death Wielder to be ready. I'm coming to kick his ass. Defeat all dual challenges for the first time. Very nice. But for the moment, we've got to go all the way back down to the Hypogeum. You have entered the Hypogeum. 
Yes, to get some stuff. So, it's time to kick some ass. So, the opponents we're going to have to try and kill here are chickens. Um, so, we're going to need to kill a chicken. Did we need bats? Yeah, we did. Bat guano. And these guys as well. So, let's kill the uh, skeletal fires. The skeletal fires will give us the ectoplasm. The chickens will give us the chicken feathers, obviously. And the bats will give us the bat guano. There's some ectoplasm and a torch. Pretty nice. Very nice indeed. Let's go and uh, get some bat shit now by killing this guy. Oh, need to rest. Damage! I missed. Ah, 13! Bloody bat. Right, he didn't give us some bat guano, but we've got a lot of gold. A key and a hamburgusa con yeti. Which is actually really useful, because I believe that uh, increased your hunger by a lot. So, that's actually pretty useful. As much as I didn't get the, uh... I didn't get the bat guano. That's still pretty good. There's some bat guano and a bat wing and a little bit of money. Get a lot of money at the moment. Ah, it's a chicken. At the moment, we're actually fighting them pretty well so far. There's a chicken feather. Very nice. And another torch. Alright, let's go down on the next level. At the moment, we're looking pretty good so far. Very good. I think we've got one of each so far. And we may get some more ectoplasm right here against this guy. So we'll just uh, attack him. Battle battle commands are uh, the same uh, as usual. Another torch. More gold coins and some more ectoplasm. Very nice. A rat. We don't need to kill the rat, but I'm going to anyway. Screw you, rat. Yeah, you're dead now. Ah, another bat. More shit, please. More guano. Oh, need to rest. Need to rest again. Gee. Now we can attack. And nearly kill him. I should have attacked there. Oh, well, he's dead now. More bat guano. Very nice. Right, there's a shrine here. We can either destroy the shrine or pray at the shrine. I know we're evil, but I want to pray at it. Soul the One senses you are an evil soul, but see you are trying to redeem yourself. Plus two to alignment. It's not the worst thing in the world, to be honest. That's all right. I believe that's everything. No, it's not. There's a little bit here we can go to with more bats in it. Ah, oh, that's a lot of damage. From Barbarian Storm. Oh, God, it's... Okay, it messed up a bit there. It's a little bit buggy, this. Just slightly. There you go. Okay, we're back. That's good. We're good, we're fine. But yeah, sometimes it can do that. It's a bit off when it does that. But I think we have enough back guano now, so that's good. We just need some chickens and maybe one more. Oh, speaking of that, might as well relight my torch a little bit. There you go. One power. It is Elevenses. Should be at the tavern now, not here. Damn it, Reg! Oh, chicken. Need more of those. Chicken! You're dead now. Yes! Give me my stuff. We're getting a lot of torches now. We don't need to sell any more. We don't need any more torches. I'll say that much. Oh. It's a tunnel rat. It's a dead tunnel rat. So many rats. A bat. Die, bat. More guano. We don't need any more. But screw it. We'll get more. That's a trap. So you can tell. It's like slightly discolored earth. Will, will reveal a trap. So be wary of traps. Oh. Nearly got him. Oh, need a rest. Both resting. Eat dead. More gua more guano. More wings. More Red Bull. Yeah. Alright. I think that's everything here for the moment. But we I think we need one more egg and one more ectoplasm. I think. I think that's what we need at the moment. Let's go on to here. Yeah! A pure light from the hex strikes you, searing your skin. You take vampirism damage. Vampirism is not fun, as you can see here. So yeah, that's some of the things that are going to happen. So vampirism, not nice. It does go away, but it does deal a lot of damage to you as well. Alright, let's keep moving through the underhauls. Ah! Oh! Right, th this one's for an evil alignment. I should be fine here. A hex symbol disappears, healing my wounds. Oh, it did! Look at that! A heal! Very nice. Very nice indeed. Uh, let's use Barbarian Storm. 
Oh, he's dead now. Skeletal fighter has been slain and more ectoplasm. Very nice. Oh, wow. Look at all the dudes that are here. Look at all of them. They're everywhere. Uh, but we're in storm. I missed. Bob. No, I can't use it again. Of course I can't. Ah! No! Damn it. Attack! No! Kill him! Kill the bugger! Get him! Ow! Don't barbarian storm me, you git! D no! Die! There you go. More ectoplasm. A pile of bones as well! We need a chicken. I think Your all we need left... Rumbles. My stomach rumbles. Oh, great. Also running out of light source. Uh, we need a chicken. We'll push this lever. Sometimes there are levers which can open the next area. So that happens as well. Alright. Uh, boom. Yes. Hit him with a power attack there. And he's dead. More ectoplasm and me. And another torch for me. The stairway's blocked by invisible wards. You need to defeat the next arena champion to progress further. Oh, that sucks. Damn it. Okay, that means then I, st I, I still need a chicken, I think. Need to find a chicken. Where is a chicken? I need a chicken. Need a chicken. Oh, no, it's this. it was this way, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Ooh, we can use this to reel our top. No, we can't! We've been immolated! Ow! 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 Stop it! I hate getting immolated! Bugger off! Completely immolated, damn it. There you go, we're back. We're now definitely back. Alright, I still need to find one more chicken in here. Stop giving me other stuff, I need chickens. Chickens. Alright, well at least I can use a, bo a bomb on this boulder and see what I get. Nothing. Oh joy, I wasted a hundred gold. Chicken! Thank you. Die! Die, chicken. Yes! I think that's everything we need. Let's try this. Why not? You see a, a pool of water still in deep. Will you dive in? Dive into the pool! Ooh, a glitz glittering in the deep. You spot a chest of coins. Gained 260, uh, 280 gold there. Pretty nice. Right! We don't need to do anything else here. Let's get out of here. Let's get out. We've got nothing else we need to do. Let's use the town ball stone. Get out! Raise up to level 5. Get some more essence. Get some more hit points. And I feel like stamina is something we're going to need. So we're going to get some more stamina to get some more stamina regen to be just better off altogether. And Barbarian Storm. So now the cooldown has gone down from six turns, which is what it was to here, to three. <coughs> Very nice. I grow more powerful indeed. All right. We've just got a lot of gold as well. 1,719 gold. Pretty good. It's probably enough to buy a weapon, a new weapon at this point. Your fellow gladiators grow weaker by the hour. How are you uh, going with collecting the potion ingredients? Got them all. The back guano is particularly unpleasant to procure. Where's We've done it. Yes. The sick gladiators drink and they are now cured. Very nice. We got a rune stone, crux of poison. Okay. 250 experience and 300 gold. Very nice. Mad dog mohawk, you've proven yourself to myself. And this looters several times over. You're ready to face the next champion, Ergus the Death Wielder. Complete your battle pit fights and go to the Eternal Coliseum. This is the moment. This is the time. Our next quest is to defeat Ergus the Death Wielder in it, the Eternal Coliseum. You've earned the right to face your first arena champion, a tragic and bitter figure by the name of Ergus the Death Wielder. Fight and defeat him at the Eternal Coliseum. The ranking, the rating is apparently challenging. Well, I wonder how challenging it'll be when I destroy him with my new weapon. Iron Hawk, weapon smith. All right, let's first sell our materials for 88 gold that we I got. Yay, yay for that. Uh, but yeah, we got a lot of different stuff here. I mean, we got like 11 torches now just from killing so much stuff, and a crux of poison. Uh, improves your poison resistance when etching, so we can etch the room. <laughs> And we have poison resistance. More poison resistance. So that's good. It prevents poison. Good to know. Very nice. 
Right, weapons. So we can get a Dirk for 25. So it's the best we can get so far. Uh, we can't get the hatchet because we're not strong enough for a hatchet. I think 25 is actually the highest we can go at this point. Seems like it. So, let's get the Dirk. For 25 damage, 1,776 uh, 1, gold to buy the Dirk. Do we have anything we can sell from our items? No, we can't. Right. Actually, I'm going to go to the weapons one more time. And I'm actually going to sell my dagger, my crappy dagger, for 12 gold. Cheers for the money, fool. That's going to be enough to... Allow me to go into the tavern for a bit. You dream of shiny stuff. You enjoy a hearty breakfast of parsnip and turnip pie. Lovely. Let's go. A new day indeed breaks. And folks, I'm going for a break here. But the next episode, let's play Swords and Saddles 5 Redux. Our battle with Ergus the Deathwielder is upon us. I'll see you then.